and a pleasant good morning to you guys. Welcome to Transverse Truck Trailer RV. My name is Marlon Bledman. I am one of your truck sales guys here at this location in Frederick. Um, for you guys who always ask me where the accent is from, I am from the Caribbean, um, an island called St. Lucia. Uh, today we're going to show you this awesome unit behind me. It's a 2023 Freightliner M2106 Summit Hauler Conversion. This is one of my best ever. I love the way the interior came out. It does have that red and gray interior. Um, we're gonna go over some of the features and some of the questions you guys normally ask about those vehicles. Uh, we'll try to answer those questions for you today. Um, one of the questions are how long is that truck? This truck is about 24 feet um, in length. Um, so, uh, a lot of people who have garages or uh, shops who want to put those in, um, it's about that length. So compared to your regular pickup, um, it's about two feet, depending on the bed, about two to three feet longer than your uh, standard pickup. So right now, as you guys can see, I have all the lights on. It's, not, it's a nice little gloomy morning. Um, I have all the lights on on this, so you guys can see what this truck would look like at nighttime going down the road. So the visibility or you know, knowing that truck is coming um, is one of the safety features on this one, especially with the length of that truck. Um, having that storage compartments with all lockable storage compartments from your fuel tank to your storage back here, um, you know, is to protect your fuel and your personal items in that back of that um, unit. And you will see two different covers over here. You will see a, a chrome and a black uh, cover over there. Once that pops open, you will find a 110 plug-in. The chrome typically on majority of those trucks are for your engine block heater. And then the black is typically for your trickle charger. This is not a you know, quick charge, this is a trickle charge. So once you plug that in, let's say you're going out on vacation for a while, you wanna keep those batteries going. You're gonna kill, the, um, kill the, there is a battery disconnect switch up here. You're gonna kill that. You're gonna plug in your trickle charger and then that will just keep that charge going in that battery while you're away. Um, let's look over here with one of those compartments. When I pop this open, it will reveal your death tank and one of your 50 gallon tanks. Um, this is a six gallon death tank. On the 112s, you will get a 13 gallon. And then, of course, one of your 50 gallons over here, 50 gallons on the opposite side. On the 112s, you get about, on our builds, you get about 150 gallons on your diesel. Let me just pop open that driver door. Kind of show you what that two tone seat look like and the interior. So I decided to kind of do a insert in red with red stitching and black leather on the outskirts. Uh, this one does come with your air ride seats, which all of those trucks come with. You have your lumbar. We added the heated and cool feature on this particular truck. So the H is for hot and the C is for cold. Center will turn off that feature. This one does come with the Mathard seats as well for the front only. When I get inside later, I will show you guys what I look like, but it does have Mathard seats on the front. That battery disconnect switch is right underneath that driver seat. Um, again, that's what makes it a little bit different from your regular pickup. But I've seen some pickups that actually added that to the truck. Looking at the door panels, um, we kind of went out with, um, we actually added the brown bro uh, on this one so it kind of a wood look on that feature and it goes throughout the dash and the handles going in and out but again that door panel with our signature summit hauler logo over here and of course you got speakers on all four doors for protection all of our summit haulers come with a fire extinguisher and it's right near the driver seat in that little storage box here and I've seen customers in the past, uh, over now, uh, they put fire extinguishers throughout the truck. So they'll put a couple in those storage compartments just for safety, just in case they need it. And then of course, I kind of uh, have this back bench a little bit slanted for now. 
Um, but that's just to show you one of the positions you could have that back bench and then you could adjust it as needed. And it could go all the way down flat into a bed. And again, that's one of the features of those trucks that comes in very handy, especially on long road trips. You could actually fold this down. Remember when folding this up and down, they shouldn't have any weight on those uh, benches. So if in case you do have weight, please remove the weight before attempting to fold it or retract it back. And underneath that seat, you have some entertainment here. You got a subwoofer and that will correspond with your stereo, Stinger stereo sound system. Same door panels on all four corners. And just for, for those guys who don't know, right behind this casing, you have your batteries. So that's why you have your jumper. I'll show you that guys in a little bit. Um, in the back panel here, you got your negative and positive studs if you need to jump that truck but the batteries are located back here great storage in here you do have an air truck line in here for uh, your airline system and really nice storage in here like I said all those storage compartments are lockable and it is weather there are some red strip in here so no moisture would go into those boxes this one does come with that bmw turnover ball hitch it does have the pre-drill holes here if it gives you guys decide to upgrade to the hensley trailer saver hitch and this truck is pre-plumbed for a airline system for your trailers so if you have air brakes on your trailers um, it is pre-plumbed if you just look in here you'll see all the all the wires all curled up in here and tie down so in case you decide to put those glide hands on here, we'll mount it down to the rear of the bed. You do have a seven pin hookup here for your trailer up here. We added one down here for easy connection. And of course you do have your Voyager extension for your cameras. A 15,000 pound bumper pull hitch, all diamond plated bed. Again, you can get this um, spray bed line like your normal material on your pickup bed. You can spray all this down. You could add a storage box to the back. You can see, can see two holes in the back end of that header rack. Those are for easy access to mount those boxes. And the way those are built, is built specific for the truck itself. So once you decide to build one for that truck, we'll send the VIN over to our conversion guys. They'll go through the specs and build that box for you. There's two options when it comes to those boxes. You could get a diamond plate like this, or you could get it smooth, like to your, the side, look, the texture of the, of the truck itself. So you could get it color match, smooth, or you could get it uh, diamond plated. And if you want a rhino line as well, you could get that rhino line as well. So smooth or diamond plated. We do have one camera above the headache rack here for your rear view again you could add one to that bumper pool if you want and as we come on this side here if you guys look up top we do have dual horns for your air horn system you do have lights on your mirrors and those mirrors have that breakaway um, feature so if in case you hit a branch those will close on its close and then you just come out and pull it back in place i'm going to open up the hood and we look from this side what you guys are looking at right now is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine it's also partnered with the Allison six-speed automatic transmission uh, right now you're looking at 360 horsepower 1,150 foot pounds of torque um, again one thing about Freightliner that I always mention in most of my videos is that everything in here is clearly labeled uh, you can see everything here you got your air filter you got your coolant you got your window washer wiper fluid down here you got your air dryer system this truck is air brakes air ride seats air cab air suspension in the rear so there's a lot of air going through this and you want to keep those tanks 
moisture free so having that air dryer system will allow that truck or the tanks to be moisture free and not rust uh, super easy so it will take a lot to get that going but again that air dryer system will have that um, with the AMB service on those trucks it does have a service where they will check your air dryer system during that service to make sure that it is still working and it's doing its job so don't be afraid mention that to your service advisors when you're getting in how often you need to service that air dryer system again with safety look at how big that windshield is again very very once we get inside you guys will see that view but again with that type of hood it is compressed fiberglass so this will actually uh, stand hail so if in case you do have a hail storm and for some reason that front end is in that hail path you will not see any dents on this hood you might get some on the roof on the, on the sides but that hood is pretty much hail proof one of the cool things i love about a summit hauler again guys is that front end grill uh, we do have a free piece which kind of cover a lot of things down here so having that front grill up here with the summit hauler logo we got that center grill and that bottom grill over here again you have the option of adding uh, or changing those out to the lighter grills and what that means is you will have a light down here and then these areas over here will be lights that will be an additional cost but if in case you decide to build a truck with us um, i will have some trucks being built with those lights already included so that will be in our 2024 models um, some of those trucks will have that feature so look out for that um, i did a video for a customer a few uh, month a couple months ago or maybe just under a month ago where he upgraded a lot of stuff on here and having that front grill upgraded that was one of the first ones i've done since i've been here for a customer and it turned out really really good so um that's why i decided to add it add some of our builds with those grill lights and of course um you will see one coming in where the front grill will be black with those lights on there so i'm super excited for once that truck is built for this customer again it will have that feature i'm talking about so let's head on inside kind of show you guys the amount of space we got i'll have jody come from the back end and again guys coming in you can see the amount of space in here headroom wise um even leg room i got a ton of room in here um, if i want to charge my phone I got two 110 plugins and I got four USB plugins here. So as a passenger, I could charge my phone. I could plug in my DVD player or iPad, my computer, work on the go, have a little hotspot somewhere in here. Um, I got my cup holders here. I got storage in the back to put, you know, smaller items to hold it down while we're on the drive. But really, really cool. Um, spacing in here a lot of people always question <laughs> again that's one of the questions is again is something missing up here no it's not um, this is just more of a, a vent for the oval for the headliner to breathe so um, we didn't miss anything up here um, there's these are just holes for the vents for your headliner here so um, I've got that question many many times even after showing this vehicle during the delivery uh, when they go home they'll be like oh i forgot to mention is something missing no that's just the design of this so uh so you guys know that's one of the questions here i'm gonna jump in the front seat again coming in and out of those trucks are super easy we got a four point entry i got a handle just on the side of the step i got another one outside I could hold on to the steering wheel, jump inside, and of course, get seated. And again, you got to be comfortable before starting up this truck or even driving off. Um, when it comes to the steering wheel, there's a center pedal here. That will actually 
be getting rid of this in 2024 plus models so you wouldn't have the kick anymore uh, there will be a little a level up here that you you will lift and it will control or adjust the steering wheel but again with this kick feature i kind of like it more but again freightliner is just changing up stuff a little bit your brake pedal your gas pedal once you start up that truck you're going to allow the pins to circulate once it's done you're going to start up the truck on that right left hand side here you got all your light options from your increase on your display up here to your headlights on this side here you got two switches here those are for your engine brake you got an on switch a high and a low setting over here you got your allison six-speed automatic transmission with reverse neutral and drive very easy to park you put the vehicle in neutral pull the parking brake which is the yellow you will, again everything is clearly labeled so there is a plus and minus uh, feature up here if you press both of those down together it will kind of show you some information here from your oil temperature to your oil life to your filters transmission health and if any codes are on that transmission it will show up here again you have your manual mode you could press mode and then you could actually increase and decrease from first gear second all the way up to six and back down as needed over here you got your cruise control those two switches are for that right next to that your marker intermission marker lights and then you have your region manual region button down here is your traction control switch red differential lock you got options to control all four windows as a driver you got your heated mirrors you got your red dump switch that will lower that back end once you're backing into your trailer you got your optional switch which is your cargo lights there is four white lights in the back two up top on the headache rack and two on the bottom of the back bumper you got your light test button this is a nice little way once you hook up to your trailer you want to test all your lights before heading down the road you're going to turn that switch on it will, they will have a countdown once that countdown is expired it will give you a long tone once that is done all your lights will be blinking once you're done with that walk around and making sure all your lights are working you're going to come back in here and turn it off so remember to do that because if this is still on your radio will not work and if you do have your um, AC running that AC sound will come down um, so that feature will de will deactivate the radio and your AC so once you turn it off your stereo will come back on your AC will start back running if you have it running you have your power locks over here you also have your rear AC and heat. So these are those vents you've seen up here. And it's manually adjusted, so you could actually move it around. And of course, you got four additional USB chargers up here. And then down here, underneath here, you have another USB and HDMI. That USB is for your Apple Play and Android Auto, if you want to plug in your phone. To your stereo right next to it here is your trailer brake system we now i have start adding the red arc system to our summit haulers um, we've been having this since uh if i remember 2020 we started putting those in 2019 2020 in our freight liners so the red arc system is very small out of the way it's not bulky it's not in your way um, so nice little system and of course you have your sub hoofer knob again to increase and decrease the sub and then of course your ac controls down here cup holders nice little storage box in here and like i mentioned this truck or those two front seats does have massage feature on here once you turn that on you got three different zones so you got your upper back center and lower back and of course you have different selections here a pulse a wave a zigzag and then again it will go through your different areas as you see there's a left and right on here so it will move from the left and right of your back go down and then of course go to your third zone after a while so really really cool feature you could change your intensity and the speed so as you can see how fast it goes now 
but this is a nice little display to tell you how fast that feature is so really cool feature then you can turn it off once you're not using and the way we build those seats has a little pocket here to store it in if you're not using it out of the way but again um, your Voyager camera system up here is your line here for your air horn you have your regular horn in the center here you got storage up top you got some reading lights you got your mood light I call this the infinity light really cool features on this truck again um, this truck is available as we speak so if you guys are interested in moving into a freight line and you guys have questions we've had tons of calls here um, and we are willing to speak to you guys even though you don't buy a truck um, you want information on those trucks give us a call if we don't know certain answers depending on what you actually looking for answered we'll find the answer for you guys call you back give you the answers and then of course if you decide to go that route the freightliner route of course we'll be happy to help you guys um, purchasing one getting one delivered to you even organizing a test drive appointment um, or whatever the case may be let us know um, so again the summit hauler conversion here at Transwest in Frederick if you guys fly into Denver International Airport it's just about 25 minutes from the airport um, during working hours we do offer shuttle service to and from the airport if you decide to do that um, again I've had some people come in test drive those vehicles leave that same day and then we have that vehicle delivered to them or we have customers fly in purchase a vehicle and drive it back home depending on if they decide to do that road trip or not but we do offer long-term financing in personal name and some other options in uh, your business name um, and we do offer delivery like I mentioned and of course we do take in trade-ins depending on the trade-in um, you let us know and then we'll give you a number on that but apart from that thank you guys for tuning in today this has been our 2023 Freightliner M2106 Summit Hollow Conversion with the red and black interior, red exterior, and it is a Viper Red, one of my favorite colors. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in today, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow with another unit. And of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. My number is at the bottom of the screen. Call me, text me, email. Um, I'll definitely answer those questions for you. In the meantime, have a great week, and I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Thank you.